I don't know. I mean, it looks really bad. I guess at some point I gotta show you, right? <laughs> Hopefully you guys will let me know. <laughs> I'm sure your wife would tell you before. Yeah, she's pretty pretty uh, honest. In her <laughs> so she used to be a reporter, so she didn't know. Oh, she yeah, that's yeah, right. really? Yeah. Anchor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, um, Coach, uh, I guess you know now the follow-up stories. Hey, you got your first win, and what are some of the things that you all saw that you have to build on, uh, you know, moving forward? Yeah, there's a lot of things, d led that, uh, you know, it's we got 14 games to go, right? It's a long season, and it is good to get the uh, first win, but we, we got a long ways to go. we got to improve. That's the name of the game, um, and that's going to be our theme. You know, what, what do we need to improve? Uh, from the top down, you know, everything we look at, we evaluate, you've got to be objective. And then, uh, you know, to the player's credit, show them why we end up winning that game. You know, what we did at the end in all three phases, playing together, uh, and guys stepped up. And uh, it was, I'm really happy for those guys. So we got the win, but, you know, we got to move on to Washington now. Who are some of the guys that we, you know, uh, you know might have missed in, in the uh, overall effort? It's, you know, it was pretty obvious some of the, you know, yeah. Sure. The one, yeah, the one that uh, you like that, huh? Yeah. Um, so, you know, some of them in a stat sheet. And I, I don't say that to be demeaning. It's just, you know, it's a lot of it when guys don't get involved early, it's a combination of things. Is it, is it on them? Is it schematics? Is it what the defense is doing? But ultimately, like guys like Tajay and Kyle, you know, everybody wants to touch the ball. And sure, we look at things. What can we do better? And the players, you know, what they can do better. Um, but guys that step up in key moments, you know, Tajay caught a big third down. Uh, you know, I thought OZ played pretty well. Uh, you know, Lee Smith does a lot of stuff, kind of the unsung hero in a lot of things. Um, glad to, you know, he came through big uh, down there in the goal line. So those are some of the guys offensively. Keith Smith has a big role. He does a lot of the dirty work, things that people never notice. Um, you know, special teams, we talked about the kicking game. A guy like Josh Harris, you know, those guys are just super dependable. Uh, Brandon Copeland, the guys you trust on the punt team. So CP as a gunner, I mean, that's pretty well documented, but he made some plays as well. And then defensively, you know, Isaiah Oliver's playing really, really uh, strong, really sound within the scheme. He's reliable. I think he's taking that role on well as the nickel in there. Um, so, you know, a lot of these guys are, are, you know, Fowler, he continues to make big plays and big moments. That's good to see. Grady's always... He goes 100 miles an hour. He's disruptive, run and pass. Um, so, Eric Harris, those guys, you know, he, he's a true pro. And so, those are some of the guys there at D-Led, and I know I'm forgetting some, but there's a lot of these guys. I mean, it was good to see. I'm glad that you brought up Lee Smith because that was going to be my question about that really? touchdown pass. I mean, <laughs> you talk about him kind of going under the radar in, in a lot of ways. What are some of those? Yeah. Yeah, he's a real leader. Um, obviously, he's still effective. It's one thing to be a leader, but if you can't be effective, then it's hard. You know, doesn't mean as much. But uh, yeah, he he does a nice job. We ask him to do you know extra things. It's good that he doesn't have to report down there on the goal line. So that helps. Um, he actually scored the same play that Dennis Kelly scored on. The difference is we didn't. You know, he may look like he needs to, but he, 85 didn't have to report. So uh, he's dependable. Uh, Brings a lot of toughness, smart player. Um, you know, glad he's here. I think uh, Matt used the word when he was talking about the offense yesterday, he used the word grind. Of mm -hmm. It was a grind for this offense. I mean, when it comes to the mindset of grind, what separates, in your opinion, those that ha handle the grind very well and those that don't? Yeah, it's, it's a true test of mental toughness. I don't think unless you go through struggle or until you're tested in, in, this prof in this profession, you know, as a player and a coach, uh, certainly, it's it's nice when everything's going your way, uh, but you find out a lot about yourself and what you really believe in. If you can stay with the process, and you know you look to obviously improve and adapt, but you don't need to just fly off the handle when it's early. And you got to, like I said, you got to have that tunnel vision and continue to grow. And I think when it comes down to to be able to grind out drives, if people want to play you in really soft zone coverage, uh, you know, try to take away some some of the deep three level throws or whatever they're trying to do. They don't think you have the will to to grind out those drives. They say, hey, you won't you won't be patient. At some point, you'll get greedy. I think that's what Matt Ryan. That's an underrated quality. 
because of the way some of the things, the way that people are trying to play, he will go through. He will, he will make the right play. Uh, it doesn't panic and tries to force one that's just not there. Uh, so that's an underrated approach. There's certainly things that we can do better, clearly as an offense and everybody. But that, th those are the underrated things that people don't think you'll actually take what they give you all the way down the field. Why do you think he's so Well, just to use the, because we, there's things that we think that he may be able to add, and um, he's a good football player. And there's things that we maybe there's something this week or maybe in the future he's going to get his feet wet. We tried something; they did a nice job playing it. They, you know, they brought uh, pressure off the open side and they got us on the count and they bubbled it back and they made a play. Um, and he made a sound decision. A lot of times you put the ball in their hands and a guy pulls it when he doesn't need to, and but. Felipe continues to improve, like where he's going the quarterback, but we think athletically there may be something he can give us at other positions, and we're always going to look to, if there's somebody on the roster that can help us, we'll try it. Is there, I mean, obviously, you know, I know you're not big into comparing people, but the obvious guy would be Taysom Hill. Is there a possibility that that ends up, he evolves into that sort of type of guy? Yeah, I think, I think there's, certainly it's worth trying, you know, the opportunity, um, I said he played a couple snaps in different spots, and we'll see if it grows, and we got to evaluate that. But, uh, yeah, he's a hell of an athlete. Man. So when you signed him, was there, was there a thought of maybe investing? Not, not necessarily. It kind of evolved like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think, you know, New Orleans kind of set the stage for everybody, and every, there's, you know, everybody's been looking for that type, and you see some people trying to, uh, you know, situational football, they may, you know, they got a running quarterback on the roster. They put him out there, um, but they're only in that role. Taysom's the only guy that I've seen that truly can play multiple spots. He runs routes well. Obviously, he can move the football running, zone read, play action. There's not a lot that he doesn't do. So, you know, we'll see. We'll continue to kind of kick the tires on it, see if it gives us anything. But uh, it's a credit to Felipe because Felipe's worked really hard about trying to become a professional quarterback and does a lot of work behind the scenes. So, it, you know, he got out of his comfort zone a little bit, and we'll see where it goes. How do you approach a guy, you know, because there's – Sure. I mean, before Taysom, like, you know, Tebow, famously, didn't want to work with that. Like, how, like, wouldn't work with that. Like, how do you approach a guy who say, hey, listen, maybe this might be – Yeah, you just talk to him. Say, hey, look, there's something I think we, I want to try. I uh, kind of kicked the tires on it in practice you know, a few weeks ago and just kind of worked a couple things and thought he was ready. And just told him, you, you know, you want to help us win. This would be a good way to get your feet wet. And that has nothing to do with your quarterback progression. But if there's something there and we think it can help us, and it can help us move the football and, and win, we'll try it. You have lots of young players in, in, in some key spots. And when you're down, you have somebody like Matt able to run the show and make that type of comeback. How, how much of an asset is it just to have his leadership? But also, he was really efficient moving the ball down. Yeah, it certainly helps because you're trying to bring – got guys at different levels of their career, right? We got all the young guys we brought in. We got the guys that kind of in the middle part here, and then we added some veterans. And then these guys on the sideline, you know, you, 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 they've been through it that help. The Matt, the Lee Smiths, the Cordell Pattersons, the Eric Harris, the Jerron Harmon. It's like, you know, they've been through it enough. They've seen it all. Uh, they can kind of help you push through and, and, and keep the, the energy, keep the – going so when you know they know how hard these games and most of these games do come down to one possession what was your favorite part about everything that happened yesterday uh, on the field of locker room? it was probably just the taking another step you know uh the defense didn't flinch you know, they, they hit a play i made an nfl play uh on the sideline in the first uh, drive the giants had and good throw good catch they didn't panic grady made a big play got a sack they slid to him beat the guy right away, and then we made him kick a field goal. You know, you don't obviously want him to get down. And when they do, you, you know, that was a, an improvement. So that was one play that kind of showed, hey, we've made a, made a step. Um, and then really Cam hitting the pump before the half. The defense, you know, Zay made a play. Uh, they got called for OPI, I believe. Um, and then Zay made the play. He tried to throw it uh, kind of into the alley there, and we were in zone, and he, he breaks it up. And then... They punt it, and we were able to convert. OZ made a big catch, and then we were able to get into the end zone. And then don't like how we handled the situation, but we can improve on that. We get the ball back. Uh, that's something to learn from. But then lastly, it was at the end of the game. Really, in all three phases, we played together. 
Uh, took a long drive. I think we started the, the drive early in the fourth quarter, 12 and some change, I believe. Kind of had one of those long, methodical drives. It was going to get interesting, too. You know, if, you, if we don't convert, um, you know, don't get the, excuse me, the DPI penalty to get the first and goal on the one, you know, you got to make a decision to go for it or to say, hey, you got three timers. Those are interesting. That's what you're thinking. So you're calling plays and you're also thinking, hey, okay, if we get the fourth down, what do you, what, you know, here's what we're going to do. So um, converted, Cam banged the, the ball back, you know, executed the game plan. Defense didn't flinch, you know, uh, Fabian got called for one and kind of a bang, bang, and right at the 50. Avery Williams comes in because Zay's cramping. He bats a ball down. Uh, you like to see that thing, that, that stuff happen. Second down, here comes Fowler, smokes it off the edge, uh, strip sack. Uh, they recover, decline the penalty. Then you get the, you know, they throw a chip screen over to the far side. Dion goes in there and makes a play. And they got to punt it. We get the ball back. CP takes it. Uh, you know, you're, now you're working with it. You got three timeouts. You're playing the game. You need to get in the field goal range, but also trying to milk the clock. Second down, Pitts hits the corner out, and then uh, and it was all cool from there. So it was really cool because that shows out in phases. Guys didn't flinch. You go down 14-7 in kind of a, uh, I won't call it an ugly game. I guess it, the result was pretty to us, but, you know, maybe not aesthetically pleasing for the fans. But we grinded it out, and that was good to see. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about me. It's about about the guys in there. All everybody a part of this thing, and and you're trying to we're trying to build something here, and um, in the way we want to run things culturally, and we're just really happy for those guys. And so now the trick is, can we take another step? You know, uh, I don't have any nostalgia about it. Uh, kind of just practicality. Just okay. What can we do to improve? Let's uh, let's get ready to go play Washington. Uh, we'll just have to assess it. You know, you're, you're able to practice them. So we'll just kind of see uh, Wednesday where they're at. And so whether they're ready to practice, and then we'll have to make a decision. we got, you know, uh, some time to make a decision. Uh, Marlon Davidson, is that? Again, we're just going to continue to evaluate that. Um, and we'll see where he's at come Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> going down the list. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's something in the offseason. I mean, it's really, uh, you know, Dean and Hoke, they, they kind of had a vision for them where they thought they could play, you know, schematically, um, you know, much different than what we're doing really everywhere. That's not a knock on anybody, like I said. It's just, you know, you want to build it, and this is the vision, and this is what I tried to sell when they hired me. And so um, when you're changing schemes like that, you got to try to find, okay, this guy doesn't fit this, maybe he can fit here. And so – Really, it was the same role that Logan Ryan had for, for Dean and, and, and Braves in Tennessee. And Zay's kind of, he's taking that on. He's smart. He's instinctual. And if you're going to play, you know, the nickel in, in this defense, you've got to be a willing tackler, too. Um, uh, you mentioned um, uh, uh, Fowler earlier. And mm -hmm. when he's getting home, he's also taking the ball away. Like, well, first question is, how, how, like, how key is that, that, that he's able to, to hit the ball on the ground? And two, what have you seen from his overall tape? Obviously, those are big splash plays, but like, what have you seen from his totality of work? Really, it's, you know, there's a lot of ways. Again, it's just if you're going to play, you got to play in the whole scheme and where everybody fits in all 11. And a lot of times when you've been tagged as a DPR, right, you're just a pass rush specialist, you know, a lot of times these guys, you know, can, can view themselves as independent contractors. Uh, that's not what Dante is. It's not how he's made up. And I think he's starting to see the vision. Uh, there were some things that we didn't like with our rush lanes in week one. You know, sometimes you get rewarded just running around and you may fall into a sack. Great, but you really screwed up the rush lanes. And, you know, it all goes together. Where I think you think Dante's biggest growth is he's playing. Uh, and this is a huge credit to him. I've enjoyed working with Dante. And these guys are playing together. And when his number was called, you know, a lot of it's the plays that he may not make, but he's playing within the scheme. And his effort's been phenomenal. Uh, I think there's a, there was a play last week against Tampa. The game's over. We're all frustrated, um, and he, you know, he he rushes. It comes down and makes a stop, gets him to fourth down, and we stop him to fourth down. And that says a lot about his character. Yeah, Coach, we were out checking and going down the list here too, and seeing the um, AJ and Russ. Like, where they, where they're 
Yeah, um, I think AJ's doing pretty well, but again, we got to see. We'll be cautious. You know, there's there's still some steps he's got to go in the protocol, um, and that's not being evasive. That's just part of the protocol. We're being smart there, but you know, he's got a chance. Um, and and Russell, him and Darby both will again. Those will be things we'll see. We'll talk tomorrow night about where they're at. And they're getting close. And uh, just to clarify with Josh and Kendall, are they practicing Thursday? We're going to make that decision tomorrow. We have, we have a staff meeting on Tuesday afternoons. We think they're close. Uh, again, not being evasive, but we don't make those final calls to tomorrow afternoon. And uh, just another thing on quarter rail, just, you know, how do you come up with where he's going to be? He's like all over the place. I'm not, you know, it's, kind of, it's like where's Waldo? Yeah. 142 yards. Uh, yeah. Kind of defense that's in there. Yeah, no, he's making an impact, and it's fun to work with guys like that. Uh, allows you to be creative. He can handle it. Um, you know, we, we named him our player of the game on offense. He's made a huge impact. Uh, he was a game captain this past week. He just really enjoyed uh, getting to work with CP and just see where, where it goes from here. And then just lastly, uh, you know, looking ahead a little bit, you know, uh, what's the football they want to, uh, you know, they're, they're talking about the defense stuff. They got another quarterback in there. Uh -huh. What are some of the, you know, you know I guess first, <laughs> uh, you're, you're not going to let that one die. I appreciate it. I appreciate the uh, the jazz back and forth. Um, you can talk scheme. You can talk scheme all day. I, don't, I would never uh, try to uh, squash that. No, I like it. Um, so no, they're 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 really uh, they got a really good front. D led you said it. Uh, everybody knows Chase Young, but pain in there, and, and they, they, those guys are, are tough and sweat, and they can make life hard for you. Um, backers can run, and it's sound scheme. Uh, Ron Rivera, you know, maybe he's been doing this a long time. Jack Del Rio over there, so you know we got our work cut out for us. On the other side, they got speed at wide out, good athletic tight ends, and, and Thomas, and uh, so Gibson's a, a problem. McKissick, like they got. They got a good football team, so we, we got a work cut out for us as we we get on to that, and we're moving on to Washington, and um, you know we'll put the plan in and see where we're at on Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, no, I, the, <laughs> no. We'll talk about show yards on Wednesday. You, did you count? Did you count the one that Rid converted at the end? Or did you, you get third and two. Did you have the cutoff? I don't, I don't Short yard power runs. Yeah. No. Well, at least you can say we didn't try to do the same thing again. Uh, you know, they got us. They got us. You know, we, we, we put the zone read in, and, you know, we they made a play. We didn't. Um, but that was a big conversion, too, in that last drive with Rid on that little screen. So. Yeah, we talked to all the guys about that. But, I mean, again, uh, a lot of times it looks like space. Um, you know, there's a lot of things going to that play. Uh, you know, Rid, Rid's, a, Rid's a really good wide out. He's got a lot of craftiness to him, but that's all of our guys. You know, if you get it, and I don't think they're most coaches, you know, drops up, get up field. But um, there's some things Rid does at the top of his route. I mean, it, he's he's been very productive for us. Happy with Calvin. Thank you. Appreciate it.